Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sparkle English, where I teach you how to improve your level of English. My name is Jennifer, and today we have a lesson on comma splices and how to fix them. So before we talk about comma splices, it's very important to learn what an independent clause is. And if you don't know, an independent clause is a clause that forms a complete thought. It can stand alone as a sentence. It contains a subject and a predicate. For example, we went for a run this morning. This is a complete sentence. It's an independent clause. It contains a subject, we, and it also contains a predicate, went for a run this morning. A predicate contains a verb or a verb phrase. Here's another example of an independent clause. It felt great to get some exercise. Again, we have a subject, it, and we have a predicate. Felt great to get some exercise. So now that we know what an independent clause is, what is a comma splice? Well, a comma splice occurs when two independent clauses are joined by a comma without a coordinating conjunction or appropriate punctuation. A comma splice is a punctuation error. It is a very common punctuation error. So for example, we went for a run this morning, comma, it felt great to get some exercise. This is incorrect. This is a comma splice. We have joined two sentences together incorrectly with just a comma. And a comma is not strong enough to join two independent clauses together. We can fix this in three different ways. The first method is very simple. You separate it into two sentences, into two complete sentences. For example, we went for a run this morning, period, then capital I, it, felt great to get some exercise. This is very simple. Another way to correct a comma splice is to add a semicolon if the two sentences are closely related. I have a video on semicolon rules, which you can check out by clicking on the playlist in the description below this video. So we could say, we went for a run this morning, semicolon, it felt great to get some exercise. And note that with the semicolon, we do not capitalize the second part of the sentence because this now is a combined sentence using the semicolon and a semicolon is strong enough to combine two independent clauses, unlike a comma. And the last method is you can add a coordinating conjunction. So the coordinating conjunctions are for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. And if you combine it with a comma, it is strong enough to combine two independent clauses. We went for a run this morning, comma, and it felt great to get some exercise. All of these are correct. We have corrected the comma splices and you can choose any of these methods. We're going to take a look at some more comma splice examples, but before we do, if you want more help with comma splices, with punctuation, you can order my 16 basic punctuation rules ebook which is a 50 plus page ebook that talks about different punctuation errors, how to use punctuation correctly, and it also contains many worksheets to practice what you learn. I've linked you to this ebook in the description below. So let's look at some more comma splice examples. I'm not a big fan of spicy food. My friend loves it. Again, here we have two independent clauses incorrectly joined with a comma. My sister is studying for her exams. She's hoping to get good grades. Again, we know that these are two independent clauses because if we read the first part of this sentence, that makes sense all by itself. We have a subject, we have a predicate and a verb. Same with the second independent clause. She loves to read books. He prefers to watch movies. Javier's really into fitness. 
He works out at the gym every day. I'm not a morning person. I always hit snooze on my alarm. So all of these are comma splices and they need to be corrected. And again, we can use any of the methods we previously talked about to correct these. For example, I'm not a big fan of spicy food, period. And then we capitalize my, my friend loves it. This is now correct. My sister is studying for her exams, semicolon. She's hoping to get good grades. Okay, this is now correct. She loves to read books, but he prefers to watch movies. So now, in addition to the comma, we've added a coordinating conjunction, and this is correct. Javier is really into fitness, semicolon. He works out at the gym every day. Finally, I'm not a morning person, period. I always hit snooze on my alarm. And in this situation, I does not change because I is always capitalized, whether or not it's at the beginning of a sentence. So now let's do a quiz. This is the comma splices quiz. You have to identify and correct any comma splices. I'll read each sentence and then you'll have some time at the end. And after that, we'll correct them together. You can use any of the methods I taught you previously. Number one. I've been working on this project for weeks. I'm hoping to finish it before the deadline. Number two, my friend and I went to the beach yesterday. We played volleyball and swam in the ocean. Number three, the restaurant was packed with customers. The kitchen staff worked hard to keep up with the demand for food. Number four, the experiment was a success. The researchers were thrilled with the results. Finally, number five, although she had been studying diligently for weeks, she still felt apprehensive about the upcoming exam. Okay, so let's correct them together. Number one is a comma splice. So we can correct this in one of three ways. For this one, let's just turn it into two separate sentences. So we're just going to change the comma to a period. And I'm is already capitalized because we always capitalize I. So now it is correct. We have the first independent clause. I've been working on this project for weeks. And the second independent clause. I'm hoping to finish it before the deadline. Number two is also a comma splice. So we have two independent clauses. My friend and I went to the beach yesterday. And now we have another subject and another predicate. We played volleyball and swam in the ocean. So here, let's fix it by just turning the comma into a semicolon. And that's all we have to do. And now it's correct. Because remember, a semicolon is strong enough to combine two independent clauses. Number three is also a comma splice and it's also incorrect. The first independent clause, the restaurant was packed with customers. And second independent clause, the kitchen staff worked hard to keep up with the demand for food. So here, let's change this by adding a coordinating conjunction. Let's add and. So after the comma, we'll have a space and then and. The restaurant was packed with customers, comma, and the kitchen staff worked hard to keep up with the demand for food. The next one is also a comma splice. The experiment was a success. That's the first independent clause. The researchers were thrilled with the results is the second independent clause. So for this one, let's combine it with a semicolon. And now it's correct. Now, the last one is not a comma splice. It is correct, okay? Because we only have one independent clause here. She still felt apprehensive about the upcoming exam. This is an independent clause. However, although she had been studying diligently for weeks, 
is not an independent clause. This is a dependent clause. Because we have although, although she had been studying diligently for weeks, does not make sense by itself. And we can use a comma to combine an independent clause with a dependent clause when the sentence begins with a dependent clause. If you want to learn more about independent clauses and dependent clauses, I have also linked you to a video on this in the description below. Okay, so let me know in the comment section how many you got correct out of five. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to Sparkle English for more lessons like this one. I'll see you in my next video.